I've moved on with coding for the really cheap microcontroller uh, using the examples. Um, so I've got a microphone and uh, a, a little preamp module. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. For what it's worth, it's got a little bit of gain on the back there with that little tiny trim pot. Um, and I've cut and pasted and adapted a bit of code uh, to get it running. I'm really actually pleased with, you know, it's a pretty good response. It's um, it's quite a fast sample time. Um, I've uh, this is just half of the waveform. Uh, well, I'll show you the code anyway. So this is in uh, WCH's um, development environment, and what we've got is. I'll just scroll down. So, a couple of libraries have included the math library. Uh, we've got a buffer for the incoming um, samples. And we've got a load of variables for different operations we want to do on the samples. Not using that delay function. Although I'm going to try and fit it in somewhere. This is initialising the ADC. These are the structs that are used to initialise the ADC that are filled up by all of this stuff, GPIO stuff, ADC channel stuff, calibration, I'm not entirely sure what any of that does, but I know the values to fill in. Okay, and then this is the direct memory access, which basically seems to mean that, um, that there's just a memory location that's just always the same as another memory location so you, you don't have to you don't have to like say this variable is you, you don't have to interrogate that location to update your variable it's just always updated which is great seems to work really fast so this is the 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 function that actually samples stuff and I mean it's fairly simple it starts the the the, the sort of the links the two memory addresses says how big Oh, I'm not entirely sure anyway. Starts the ADC conversion. And I've messed around with how many cycles it does versus how uh, much delay there is. So I've got it down to 50 microseconds, which is uh, which is fine. So 50, so that's 2 in 100, so that's uh, 20. So that's like 20 kilohertz. Um, I mean... You know, obviously there's other things going on as well, so it'd be a bit less than 20 kilohertz. Uh, for 10 samples, the, the TX buff is 10. Uh, 10 samples long, so all I'm doing is, I, I was finding the minimum and the maximum, but I don't really need to bother. You just need, I just need to find the maximum. The, uh, the sensor puts out a constant, like, middle voltage you know, whatever voltage you feed it, it puts out the middle of that and then modulates that with the microphone input. So uh, it's always either it's always either plus or minus, but, you know, it's um, I'm just capturing the plus because what I'm trying to do is make a beat detection thing, little tiny little beat detection module to go on my LED strips. Uh, you know, so the, the I want it, I want it to I want it to fit in here. You know, I want it to like be another little bit on the end here, or maybe just on the back there, uh, that detects the sound and makes the uh, the LEDs change. Uh, so, so yes, there we are. I mean, the maths are slightly beyond me, but um, I, I've been looking at a lot of stuff on uh, on YouTube and uh, brushing up. So yes, toot toot.